hello 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 everyone and happy new year i'm probably going to be saying happy new year all of january by the end of january everybody should remember it's a new year i know it takes me about a month to start putting the correct year at the uh, you know the correct year when i write the date so probably all of January, I'll be saying happy new year because not everybody's gonna watch every video. And I just wanna tell everyone happy new year. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying warm because this weather here is something else. So Sunday, I had short sleeves on outside. Monday, it snowed. So it has been such crazy weather. I hope everyone's staying safe, staying warm. And you guys check your weather app every day or watch the news so you can get the weather because this weather is something else. I check my weather app every morning so I can make sure I dress right, that I'm staying warm, that my daughter dresses right because this weather can go from cold to hot to cold to hot every day. And my body has showed me that it is very susceptible to the weather. If I do not bundle up, I will get sick. So I make sure I have my scarves on. I have about 10 scarves. I only usually wear my black one, but that's neither here nor there. I make sure I am bundled up. I know usually around this time of year, people make New Year's resolutions and I'm with Pooh Bear. I don't make resolutions. I do reflect on the previous year but I take life as it comes. You know, um, I do try to plan for some things, but I'm always ready to pivot whenever life happens and I'm not able to do what I initially wanted to do. The Navy, being, my husband being in the Navy has taught me this over and over and over again. You can plan something, but then the Navy say, nope, you're, you're not doing that, you're doing this. So. It's always the Navy way. So the Navy has taught me this more than I would like to know. So I plan and I pivot. I plan and I pivot. And each time you do that, it gets a little bit easier. I don't make resolutions, but I do have words of the year that I try to incorporate into my life. Um, words that I try to implement in my daily tasks and how I interact with people and my surroundings and things like that. So last year, my word was progress. I just wanted to keep my momentum going and make progress every way I could. I was doing exercises, I was riding my bike, I was walking, I was just trying to keep my momentum going, keep making progress every single day. However big or small it was, at least 1% better each day. I also did that with my um, videos. I wanted to make each video 1% better each day. And I think I did that. That was my goal, 1%. And of course I started out real strong. I was walking, I was exercising, I was doing all of that. And um, after a while, you know, a couple of months or so, it became a habit. I did fall off <laughs> with my exercise and I did. Um, life got in the way and I didn't do it as faithfully as I wanted to. So I am trying to start back with that. Um, I'm reading self-help books. I'm doing things to try to make myself better as well. So even though I'm still trying to make progress every day, I do have a new word for um, this year. So my new word for 2022 is fearless. I think last year I let fear keep me from trying things and doing things. So this year, I want to try new things. I want to experience things. I just want to try to be fearless. If things work out, I will be so happy. <laughs> if they don't, then I'll just pivot. Normally, I do a New Year's Eve video and a New Year's Day video. And normally, my New Year's Day video is with all my babies dressed in white um, because I like the freshness of it, thinking of the new year as a blank canvas where me and my babies can make it beautiful with videos and pictures and posts. But as you can see, I was not feeling that this year. I took a lot of time um, to reflect. So I will have all my babies in the video. They are not wearing white, but that is okay. We're still going to make it a beautiful year. I actually took some time um, at the end of last year 
to reflect and kind of map out 2022. I took that time to figure out things I wanted to do personally and things I wanted to do with the channel this year. I did some things um, behind the scenes to better organize my content. I'm utilizing some apps to help me keep track of things. And in doing so, I was able to set some goals for the channel and think about the future of my channel. I've implemented a content calendar, which I am so happy about. I know back in the day, whatever you were doing with your baby, you just picked up a camera and started filming, but YouTube and the Reborn community in general, we want more. So I'm trying to give you guys more. So let's start with 2021. 2021 was a great year for the channel. I saw continuous growth and engagement. I do have my loyal subscribers that I'm so thankful and so grateful for. And I also gained some new subscribers, which is always fun and exciting. Of course, my hauls, they were a huge hit and I plan to continue doing hauls in 2022 because y'all know thrift don't stop. I'm just so thankful, you know, for the Reborn community, thankful for my hobby, and thankful for my beautiful, beautiful babies. Thankful that I can share them on this platform. And I know that the people who watch me, they enjoy my videos, because I enjoy making videos. I really, really do. I enjoy making videos, the editing process, setting it up, getting the babies changed, making them all cute. I enjoy every part of it. And I also enjoy watching your channels and seeing your babies because my nieces and nephews are so cute. I talked about my content calendar and I'm very excited to see if it functions like I need it to function. And if you guys like the content that I come out with this year, I'm really excited to see how that all plays out. Because for a couple of years, you guys, I can say this about my channel. It was kind of monotonous. I did a lot of picture slideshows because I love I mean, I love doing picture slideshows because my babies, when I dress them, they are the cutest ever. I want to take pictures of them and then I just put them together and make a slideshow for you guys. But that was mainly the type of videos that I was creating. So I know after a while it can get a little monotonous. So this year I'm going to try to implement different types of videos. We are starting with this chatting video and I'm gonna to try to do more chatting, talking videos, more changing chats, more Topic Tuesdays. And y'all know I love theme days. So I'm gonna to try to do at least one theme day of, of the week, a month. So there is um, Disney Monday, Topic Tuesday. And in the summer, I want to also participate in T-shirt and diaper Tuesday. There's Onesie Wednesday, and I also do Twinsie Wednesday. There's Theme Thursday, and y'all know I also upload my haul videos on Thursdays. There's Fashion Friday, as well as Butterfly Friday, Swag Saturday, and Sleeper Saturday. And then on Sundays, I can do either Sports Sunday or Sunday's Best. So I want to do at least one of those types of videos once a month. I also want to incorporate my incorporate my plush pups so cozy and cami i also want to do at least one cozy corner a month and then there are some other ideas some other um, video topics and video types that i want to incorporate this year so all of that will be coming in 2022 also all the video ideas that i had that i didn't do because i was afraid of how they would be received how they would be perceived so all that fear i'm letting that fear go i'm trying to be fearless this year so all the video ideas that i have that i haven't done i'm also going to try to do those this year as well so nothing crazy you guys nothing crazy um, because i still want the channel to remain positive and upbeat it's just that this year i'm not going to let fear hold me back or stop me from making content because it's just amazing to me how vastly different the reborn community is and how much it has changed over the years. Um, it may just be me. I had a very, very close-knit circle. I only watch certain videos. I only watch certain channels. But I have ventured out and I watch all different types of Reborn channels, all different types of channels in general on YouTube. And I'm also on Instagram a lot. So Instagram just puts different Dolly content, Dolly um, pages, you know in my feed so I see a lot of different types of posts on different subject matters and things like that so I've been I've really been exposed to a lot more I think 
in the last two years. So when I was reflecting on how I wanted the channel to be this year, I took all of that information into account with how I wanted you know, the channel to go, the direction in which I wanted my channel to go. My goal in 2022 is 200 videos, you guys. And if I stick to my content calendar, I will surpass that. So I'm excited about that. So there will be a lot of videos for you to watch this year from Reborn Love is Real. I'm super excited about this year to see what happens, what unfolds, what manifests. So I'm just really thankful that you guys have decided to take this journey with me and I'll see you guys in the next video.